Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about data types in NumPy. Data types in NumPy array. So here the data types in Python we all know. Those are by default Python have these data types. Those data types are string, integer, float, boolean and complex. So string is used to represent the data, the string data collection of characters those are enclosed in double quotations or single quotations so this is the example the characters are nothing but alphabets digits and special symbols so combination of alphabets as well as the digits and special symbols is known as string next one is integer it is used to represent integer numbers those are positive numbers as well as negative numbers okay next one is float so float numbers are nothing but which contain precision fractional part those numbers are 1.2 42.42 .42, either positive fractional numbers or negative fractional numbers next one boolean boolean is used to represent either true or false so when it involves condition the condition either true or false so here boolean have only two possible values either true or false next one is complex so complex is used to represent complex numbers complex number contains imaginary part as well as real part 10 10 i mean 1.0 plus 2.0 j next 1 plus 2 j like this okay so here one is real part and 2 is j is a imaginary part so these are the five inbuilt types in python let's see what are the data types in numpy so here data types in numpy numpy has some extra data types and refers to data types with one character so here the data types are referred by using only one character for integer i for uh, unsigned integer u okay like this so here the list of numpy data types one is integer integers are represented with i booleans are represented with, with boo, b next uh, unsigned integers are represented with u and float uh, integer float numbers are represented with uh, f complex float uh, is c time delta I is m date and time is d object is o string is s unicode string is u fixed chunk of uh, memory for other type void v okay so we all know integer okay so integer means either positive or negative boolean means true or false unsigned int means there is no sign like 10 and to 523 like this unsigned there is no sign either plus or minus okay next float is the number which contain positional next one complex so real part as well as imaginary part time delta so this is used to store time that means hours minutes seconds so if you want to store in this format then you need to use time delta next one is date and time year month date like this next one is object so we all know array is a collection of homogeneous elements right so collection of homogeneous means it will store similar data items okay for example a is equals to num np dot array of one two three so this is integer type because it contain all the integer values for suppose if a contains elements like this 1 comma 1.5 comma and next uh, hello like this so here this array contains integer float as well as string so this type of array is known as object this type of array data type is known as object object is nothing but heterogeneous array can store heterogeneous also by using the object data type okay so if you store the elements with different data types the data type considered as object okay if you store all the integer values it will be considered as integer if you store all float values it will be considered as float okay right next one is unicode string so only one character string is known as 
unique or string if you store nothing in the variable that means array that is known as void void means nothing empty okay so these are the types under array okay next checking the data type of array so if you want to check the data type of array then you need to use d type attribute okay so we all know we have already discussed about the properties of array right in the last class so those are end im d type size and shape okay so here d type is one property which is used to know the data type of one array okay so let's see the example import numpy as np i am renaming numpy library as np next arr is a array name array name is equals to np dot array of elements so here array is a function which is used to create one array right so here the elements are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so all the elements are integer data type so that's why if you want to uh, print the data type of uh, arr array then you need to use print of arr dot d type so it will return integer integer 32 bit okay so here it will return the size also okay next creating array with defined data type so here if you store 1.2 next 2.2 like this it will return float okay if you store all the string it will return string okay so like this next if you want to create one array with your own data type with defined data type okay so see we use array function to create arrays this function can take an optional argument d type that allows us to define expected data type of the array so if you want to create the array with your defined data type then you need to use d type attribute in the array function okay so let's see here the example import numpy as np arr is equals to np dot array of 1 2 3 4 5 so here 1 2 3 4 5 or 1 2 3 4 or integer values right so i want to convert these integers into string type so i i want to store these integers as string okay so that's why you need to use d type attribute to define the data type okay so here d type is equals to yes yes means string okay so here it will store 1 2 3 and 4 because string uh, elements are represented either in single quotations or double quotations right so i am representing these elements as string okay single quotations so here 1 2 3 4 are integers but we are converting we are defining our own data type by using d type attribute in the array function okay so if you print the array elements it will print like this if you print the data type it will print string str okay so for i u f s and you can define size as well so you can define size as well whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit or 8 bit 4 bit like this okay let's see create array with data type 4 bytes so here import numpy as np next uh, i am creating one array array elements are 1 2 3 4 okay data type is i i means integer so i want to store integers but i need to define the size so 4 bytes every element occupies 4 bytes of memory okay so like this next one what if a value cannot be converted so we can convert integers into string float next boolean and complex but it is not possible to convert complex numbers into integers so it is not possible to convert complex to int complex to float okay so for that purpose if a given type is 
if a type is given in which elements cannot be converted then numpy raise one exception that is value error okay so value error means mistake value okay so in python value is value error is raised when type of parser arguments to the function is unexpected incorrect incorrect values okay so here a non integer string like a cannot be converted to integer right so uh, we cannot convert a to integer a is a string data type because it is a character so if you want to convert into numbers is it possible no it is not possible so see arr is equals to np dot array of so here a is one string because it is represented in single quotations 2 is one string 3 is one string we can convert 2 3 into integer data types because integer contains only numbers 2 3 are also numbers but it is not possible to convert a into integer data type because a is alphabet integer contains only numbers so in that case it will raise one exception what is exception exception is nothing but runtime error okay so it will raise one exception it this is incorrect it is not possible to convert one int one string data type to integer okay so it is possible to convert string to int when when string contains only integers string contain only 0 to 9 numbers but if string contains alphabets it is not possible okay converting data type on existing array so already there is a array i want to convert the data type of array okay so already existing array if you want to change the data type of already existing array then the best way to change the data type of existing array is to make a copy of array with as type function so as type function is used to convert the data type of existing array the as type function creates a copy of the array and allows you to define your own data type so let's see the example so here import numpy as np arr is equals to np dot array of 1 1 2 2.1 3.1 so what what is the data type of these arr arr is a float data type because it contains it contains 1.1 2.1 3.1 because it contains fractional part decimal part so that's why it is a float but i want to store these elements as integers okay so if you want to store these elements as integer you can remove the float number 1 2 3 this is the integer 1.1 2.1 .1, 1, 3.1 is a float so i want to store like this so i want to convert float into string so here float is already existing so if you want to change the data type of already existing then you need to use as a type function so let's see here new array new array is one array name is equals to arr dot arr is contains 1.1 2.1 3.1 right so i want to convert these elements a as a type of i i means integer so i want to convert these elements into integer data type now you will get one two three if you define the data type it will print int so if you observe here arr contain 1.1 1 1.2.1 1 3.1 but new array new array contains one two three so we are not changing this array we are creating one more array and changing the data type of float to int okay so i hope it is clear so what are the data types of numpy so these are the data types we can define our own data types we can convert one data type to another data type we can change the existing data type of uh, array of data type okay so if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you